Okay, today we're going to make a Spot the Differences game in Flash. You need to know a little bit of Photoshop to make the game board, so I'll give you a few basics, but you should really have some experience there first. Then we'll move to Flash to add in these nice boxes to outline the differences once you find them. Okay, so we're going to open a new document, and we're going to make it uh, my screen size, 1280 by 800. I'm just going to hit OK. Now we'll put a nice title in, spot the differences, so people will know what they need to do in my little game here. And we'll get it nice in the middle. So now we're going to go find a picture. And I was searching online before, and I came across this nice picture of Montreal. So we're just going to copy it and paste it into the Photoshop document. You could choose whatever picture you want. It really doesn't make any difference. So you're going to paste it again and put it beside each other. So we're just going to use the quick selection here and we're going to select the boat. And we're going to go edit, fill and choose content aware and then control D to deselect it. Use the band-aid to fix up any little mess. And how about we take these little dots out too. So you could take out whatever you wanted in your own picture. There we go, content aware, and we'll take those out. I'm gonna put a cruise ship into the harbor. I'll copy that from Google too. Paste it and then use whatever method you like to delete the background. So there we go. I've got three differences in my photo. If you want you can push pause right now and make a few more differences in your Photoshop document. So we're going to save it as a JPEG because we don't want it coming into flash in layers. We just want a single layer. So we're done with Photoshop now and we just quit. Okay, so open a new document in flash. If you remember, my Photoshop document was 1280 by 800. So I'm going to make my screen size 1280 by 800. And we're going to import that picture I just made to the stage. And we'll zoom out here so we can see everything. Great, so we've got our two pictures. Now, you're going to want to set, set a fill color and set your stroke to zero. Set your, set your stroke to no stroke. And you're going to draw a square. Grab the the rectangle tool and you're going to draw on top of that boat. Now select it with the arrow and you're going to right click on it and choose convert to symbol. We want this to be a movie clip and we're going to call it spot. Now up in your properties window we're going to call it the instance name. We're going to call it spot underscore mc. mc for movie clip. So we double click to go inside that spot and we right click, make that spot a movie clip again inside and we're going to call it target and we give it an instance name of target underscore MC. I'm going to create another frame in that layer and then rename it target. Press the new layer icon at the bottom of the window cr to create a new layer. Double click the name and rename it outline. Right click on the second frame and this time choose insert keyframe. Set your fill to nothing. Put the stroke to maybe two point. So this is going to be the color that shows up 
There we go. Draw your stroke. Now let's make a new layer and let's call this layer Labels. Click on the first frame in the Properties menu, name it Frame Out. Right click in the second frame and insert a keyframe. Name this frame Hit. Make another layer, call it Actions. So click your first frame of that and you're going to go to Window, choose Actions, and you're going to write a little bit of script here. So first thing we want to tell it is to stop on that first frame. Second thing we want to tell it, define our movie clip. So we're going to call it Target underscore MC, so that little rectangle, and we're going to tell it we want to add an event listener. Okay, so what do we want our event listener to do? Well, um, it's going to be a mouse event, so when I click, this function is going to happen. So we're going to call this function found it. So if you click on that square, it means you found it. So now we have to define what our function found it is. So we say function found it. Now we're going to tell it event mouse event. Now for some reason it puts that line. We don't want that line. If it does that to you, just delete it. Import flash mouse events. We don't want that. Let's make that go. So delete that. Okay, let's get back to our mouse event. Now we're going to tell it what we want it to do. So we need a left brace and we're going to say go to and stop. Make sure you notice uppercase and lowercase. So go to and stop and we tell it to stop on our frame called hit. Close your brace and you've written a little bit of action script there. So if you go back to scene one, let's hold control enter or command enter and give it a try. So it works. If you go into your library, you can pull spots onto all the differences. Make sure you grab spot and not target. And if you need to, you grab the free transform and you can resize it. There we go, and we pull another spot onto this spot where I pulled the, took the boat out. Command Enter, and we've got all our spots working. Now it's a little obvious where the differences are if we have a big blue box on them. So we're going to go into, double click to go into the spot movie, click that square, go to Color Effect Style. Alpha. Mine was already set to zero. Yours is probably going to be a hundred, so bring that to zero. Back to scene one, and now all your dots are there, you just can't see them until you go into your movie and you click them. And there you have it. You've made yourself a nice spot the differences game.